Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we've got lots and lots of dirt on the carpet. Now what we're going to do first, we're going to be showing you today the filter. Now that's, I have wiped the filter out a little bit. We're not supposed to wipe filters. Yeah I have wiped it off with a wipe, I'm on the washing line as well so we've just got rid of the, uh, the top layer. Now I have done a, a few house cleans for this one. Um, quite a quite a nice little vacuum for a shark, but um, because of their well, if you call it a cyclone, but their their bin technology, basically what happens with a shark, um, near enough all the dirt gets sucked up by the filter. Now this one has a monthly filter routine, so we've actually got a fair bit of dirt. We've actually got some of the, the sort of stuff that they have in the. Um, in like places like curries and that for demos so we're, we've got a fair we've got the old uh, pre-processed hoover food as well so we're going to suck this one up now and see how well it goes say it's filled so as you can see look does it say it's filled is it yeah. but as you can see now filled. this one now after just sucking up that little amount on the on the floor it's filled up so what we're going to do now we're actually going to put the same dirt now and we're actually going to swap the head round on it so we're now going to do a demonstration now we're with do it both heads yeah all right. So what we'll do then, we'll just get the we'll just get it prepared for the hard floor then. So we'll get this prepared for the hard right, floor. I'll just put the dirt back now on the hard floor now and we'll see how well this this brush, this other brush will stay.
take quite a long time so we cut the video it was about probably about four minutes to do that little bit of floor we found it was scattering a little bit with the carbon brushes wasn't it and it was struggling with the uh, no and it's all got a big hole in it no it's um, a brand new one that's one reason why shark went to the dual clean because if you notice i mean that was fairly small stuff but breakfast cereal considering no, that was it's in the... no the shark look here yeah no, the shark lift away. Yeah. That one's got a big hole in it, the shark got a big sink. Yeah, it has, isn't it? But for hard floors, it uses like a pad, doesn't it? So, really, I mean, that's why shark generally come out with a dual clean. So this one is quite a unique shark, because it is the shark rocket power head. Um, so we're just going to now show how much dirt it's actually picked up. We did a fair bit of dirt test for it, but we're just really to see. So that was probably about equivalent of a, of a whole house cleaning dirt. And there was lots of fine dust and particles. I've only got that container now. I'll we'll have to get the I'll container. Take, uh, a container now to put the uh, dirt into. This is our pre-processed dirt. So we'll probably use this on another demo. So we'll uh, you push it up like that and that flips up. We'll uh, oh. try and get this one out now. All that, all that so I'll guys. get this lot here I'm out. I was just going to demonstrate how you do it with your foot. No. So it's a foot upright uh, switch. So it's a quite a nifty little feature. No, and I found something else. And you want to keep it cocked down like that. And you want to keep it cocked down like that. Yeah. And then you just, you just, you just ah, right. That's how much it's pulled out. Um, there's a little bit on the floor, I'm not worried, but what we're going to do now is show you the filters because what we found with a lot of the sharks, it's generally almost like buying those really cheap handhelds with a filter in the middle. As you can see, look, you can see how much dirtier the filter is now just by doing that to one clean. Now this has a monthly, um, I think this one is a monthly one, look, every month for this one. Or loss of suction may occur. Now I know for the the larger sharks, isn't it? The lift the, the, the lift aways have three months and when, after you use it about ten times, you do ten ounce cleans. It's, you know, that's not three months worth of cleaning. And and they and they are really no, manky, or, aren't they? Or, or one day. Yeah, so that's how much dirt has actually come into this one. So like I said, would I recommend the shark? First day to get the other Sharks ain't bad vacuums. No. They're, they're not great. They're not the in best. A, in a little but they're not the worst. Um, if you like washing filters, then buy a shark. If you're quite, if you're quite capable of washing a filter without fail and keeping it clean, then yes, sharks are great. Or even you can actually, I think you can buy the filters from China for about one pound. No, 50. and don't fit that one. They only fit up right. Oh, don't they? So you can actually get the shark filters from... Because I actually bought a shark filter to chop no, up. No, and that's all up right. Yeah, so we've actually bought shark filters for about £1.50 from China. And in fact, they're actually better quality than the ones you get actually with the machine. Because I actually used it as a diffuser, didn't I, on no, a Connie. Yeah. So, it, uh, someone on YouTube said that. So, yeah, well, that's right. So basically, you know, I've actually had bought a shark filter myself. Um, so bye for now, and please, God, the vacuum mate.
So just showing you now, you know, the, the machine is bad. I mean, it is part of Cole's collection. I wouldn't have this as my daily driver. Um, we've got better machines than that, really. Like you say, it's all filters. They all go in the filters all the time. So thank you very, very much for watching.